that 2003 firestorms, uh, the old fire in our city, was kind of a wake-up call for us. Any unit staging? We just could not get on top of this fire fast enough. We had a limited amount of resources and a fast-moving fire, and then as more and more structures burn, then they just become more and more fuel, and it, the fire just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. In the 23 years I've been on the job, I've never seen fire like that. We have wildfires most years in Southern California and indeed throughout California, but the 2003 fires were much more extensive and more intense. And looking forward, as a result of global warming, wildfires are expected to increase, so we may see more of these very intense wildfires. If you look at what's happened over the last several years of Southern California uh, fires, we don't have near enough resources. We can't even stop them as they are now. They, they, they burn to the ocean. You add to it global warming and some of the other issues, we could have some real serious catastrophic situations. The 2003 fires produced huge plumes that were blown over the entire Los Angeles basin. And I think that it's fair to say that the, the majority of the approximately 16 million people who live in, that, in this area were exposed to very significantly elevated levels of particles. Um, scientific studies are just beginning to come in. It was very apparent to everyone during the fires that pollution levels were much, much higher than normal. We're seeing that the levels of particulates were three, four, five times higher than they are normally. About 9,000 people die prematurely every year in the state of California as a result of exposure to small particles and other air pollutants. Recent research shows that children that grow up in areas that have high levels of particulate pollution have significantly reduced lung function, which affects their overall health throughout their lifetime. The end result of the old fire down here uh, was 799 homes either damaged or fully destroyed. And uh, it, it breaks your heart to see this. Several months later, you have the rains come. There's nothing to stop the mud and debris from uh, being held back on the mountainsides, come right down and create uh, catastrophic problems. We had a, a, a tremendous flood on Christmas Day of 2003, and uh, several people were killed. Current models estimate that wildfires may increase by about 50 percent by the end of the century. I am very concerned about global warming and I think it's something that uh, all of us need to really take serious and pay attention to. Both as a scientist and as a mother, I think global warming is by far the most pressing environmental problem that we face today. I also think it's one of the most challenging ones that we're going to have to um, work to find solutions to, but it's absolutely essential that we do this.